Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sam and welcome to my channel. Okay, so tonight I am going to be making this card. Um, it is with the Couture dies from Crate and Craft. It's this one called the Sea Siren Collection. Um, I actually got both of these sets from eBay last week for £5. I won them in a, a bidding auction, the Sea Siren. There is more of this collection, but I got these two. So I'm going to be using this die. Now these are actually closure dies and they come in with two parts and they link together to be the closure. But I'm just using this part of it. Um, which I should have already cut out. There it is. I've already cut out and coloured that one in. So I've got that piece that I'm going to be using. So that's the only, in fact, not that's not the only piece. You get these two pieces as well that make lovely ferns. I'm going to use them and I'm going to use one side of the sea siren, the actual mermaid. So this is the card. So I think it's really cute. So, first of all, I started with an A4 sheet of this lilac, sort of purple lilac card. Um, and I've cut it down to a 6x6. That was almost a 6x6. Six six. Okay. And then, so just cut it at 6 inches, an A4 piece of card. Or I think it's 8 by 11, 8 and a quarter by 11, what people call it. And then fold it in half, so nice and easy. I do this a lot actually, if I've not got, like, I prefer making more. I like pre made cards and I do buy them definitely. I buy them in hobby craft as I'm on sale and things. But um, I like making my own because then you can choose all the colours. Look at the state of this mat. Anyway, so it ends up, it's obviously. Six by almost six. It's a couple of eights off the six. So that's what I'm doing. That's the only one I've got. So then what I want to do, I'm going to pop that to the side just now, is take the dies. So you get the outer piece, you get the inner piece, and somewhere in here is the mermaid. So you get this twice over in this pack, um, obviously because you can make your gatefold with it. But what I'm going to do is cut it all out in white. I'm going to cut it all together and cut it in white and then I'll come back and show you when it's cut out. Now I'm just running this through um, the Gemini and it cuts absolutely perfect. I'm also actually, while I'm doing that, I might as well cut this one as well. Here, on the background, I've put this lace panel. And it's actually this here from Desire Crafters Companion. And it's Create a Card and it's the traditional lace. And this one comes with, if I can find it, buried under here. This one comes with the main piece so you can cut this into your card and it also comes with the two edges so you can cut it out or you can cut it in at the top and make a pocket and so it's really versatile so i'm going to cut these all out in white and then i will come back and seriously guys i know that i ramble on about the power of the gemini but i've just ran the two dies through the jet now i've just put them through once it does have the reverse function but i didn't use it i just wanted to see if it would work and it has that bit is just because the dies not lined up properly with the two the two wee these two wee bits i've not had them joining like you know like that is why it's had to be tiny bit there but and i mean look all the bits are absolutely falling out the die itself is almost clean um so that ran through perfect and then at the same time i ran through this one with the, what do you call the mermaid, so she, oh my tail's caught in there, mermaid, and all the wee bits as well, for here, for the sea just falls out, 
again this die let's give it a tap so if you're thinking about getting an electronic um, die cut machine I would definitely definitely recommend the Gemini I think it's brilliant okay I've rambled on about that enough so it's just I get asked a lot about the Gemini as well people ask me you know what do I cut my dies out with and um, what machine would I recommend and that's definitely the one okay so what I've got now is my main piece this piece and my lace piece so what I'm going to do is poke out all the wee, and you can see how easy guys they come out all the wee bits are just falling out poke out all the wee bits and I'm going to use my spectrum wires now for the back panel for the lace I used this LV1 for the I'll colour in the mermaid with you guys but for this piece I actually used the Letraset Pro marker and it was 0739 and that was for that piece for the teal bit I used BT4 of the Spectrum Noir and I'll come back and show you the other wee bits and pieces but so you don't have to watch me colouring in um, I will colour them and then come straight back Okay, so I have coloured in, I already coloured in the ship's wheel, I've coloured in the outline of the mermaid and I've coloured in my lace piece. Now you obviously don't have to do that, if you want to um, just cut out coloured card that you already have, that would be good. It's just because I wanted, um, I thought I saw a bit that I missed there, I wanted this particular colour to match in so that's why I used the pens to colour in the white card. So for my mermaid, what I'm going to do is use... The FS8, this is just for a guide guys, it's just in case you have these pens and you want to use them along with me. Um, and the BT4 I think it is, let me just double check that, that might be wrong. What's this one? IB1? No, it's IB1. So that's more for our skin. So FS8 and IB1 I've used for the mermaid. So for the FS8 I'm just going in for her hair. So I want her to have nice pink hair. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on this. I'm going to put it on here. I'm just following, there's sort of an embossing line on the dye. And I've just actually drew over her face, but it's alright. I'll blend it in when I come with the blue. Um, and then I want her, her, bo her tail sorry, to be in the pink as well. So just going over the whole tail and the sort of baby. It's like a coral pink this, I think. Like that. And I'm also going to go over, she's got wee seashells um, as a top. So I'm going to go over that. Over there. And over that. Like that. And then take the IB one and I want her to have this sort of light blue skin. Because she is a mermaid, so... I think I just thought it looked nicer than giving her the human coloured skin. I'll give her this sort of sea blue mermaidy skin. Sorry if you can see that very well. My colouring skills are rubbish guys. I do some blending sometimes and stuff, but most of the time I just go ahead and use the pens as they are. So there's the wee mermaid. So all I'm going to do now is assemble up this card and it's really easy. Let's take the card and then the first thing I'm going to do actually is take... What did I do with it? The LV one again. So this is just a darker purple and I'm just going round, you know me guys, I always do this, I just like it, it gives a finish to the card. All the way around the edge with the darker purple. And then I'm going to pop the lace piece down, so just using my wet glue, oops, had a wee, like a wee stopper, it had got hard. 
the hard bit of glue that had formed on the top. So, round the edge like that. So I've only put the glue in the edge because everything else will hold it in place anyway. So that's there. And then what I'm going to do with this piece is back it on. Now I've got this, it's like a really light, I don't know if it will show up on camera, it's a light grey. And I thought it was nice, it's like a sort of light bluey grey. So what I'll do is I'll glue this on and then cut that out and come back. Okay, so I always try and make these demonstrations as quick as possible guys, so you don't have to watch me doing all the boring bits. And because you all know how to do all them, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just, everybody, I'm just sort of, I want to just show you the goodie bits, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So now I'm show, now I'm showing, no, no, I'm showing. Now I am gluing in the mermaid. Yeah, so, nobody wants to sit and watch me colouring in, or, so, that's why I pause it when I'm doing those bits. Okay, so I'm just popping her back into the die. And the shape is cut out for her. Put her in there. That looks cute. And then she is going to go directly onto the card. Glue. Pop her about there. Like that. Maybe she could have been over a bit, but hey ho. And then I'm going to take the wee anchor that I cut out. The wee half, not the anchor, ship's wheel, sorry. And I'm going to put that there on the side. I'm just putting a wee bit of wet glue. Not too much, because I don't want it to all squidge it. And I'm going to have that down the side, sort of coming over the memory die cut. Like that. Like that. Then, oh actually what I didn't do was cut out the wee ferrins but I can do that in a second. What I'm going to do next, actually I'll do that last, I will do the ferrins next. So, pop that up there, pop this to the side. So in the pack comes these two wee fern dies. And I'm just going to cut them out and instead of putting these through the Gemini for quickness, I'm just going to put these through the wee Spellbinders Sapphire. Two wee plates. Now I'm going to try cutting the two of them at once. I don't know if it'll work. I might need to do them one at a time. So, piece of paper to shim over the top just to make sure that it hopefully cuts run it through and run it back and yep these have cut lovely so got one and two so I actually need four of these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour in one with the LV one, actually two with the LV one and two with the, I think it was a BT4 I've done it with. So two in purple and two in green and then I'll come back. Okay, so like I said, I coloured in two in the purple and two in this sort of bluey, tealy, greeny colour. And all I'm going to do is pop these in the corners just as a wee bit of decoration. This looks like wee ferns underwater colours. I'm just going to slightly cross them over each other. Like that. And the same in the top corner. Pop this one. Yeah, and the purple one. In hindsight, actually, I maybe should have done them a different colour of purple because I've done the same purple that's on the lace. It's maybe not showing up as much as it should, but you 
can still see it actually, but it's not bad. Okay, then to finish off the card, a couple of wee embellishments and a sentiment. I've cut myself out a couple of strips, one of the purple from the bit that was left over when I made the 6x6, six six, a wee strip of purple and a wee strip of the grey that we used to back on the mermaid and I'm just going to mat it on like that but before I do I'm going to take the, if I can find it, it is, the darker purple, the LV1 again and just go round the edge, these. Just to make it stand out on the card itself. And then, oops, I've got glue all over my fingers. It drives me nuts, this glue. I love it, it's good at sticking, but it, and it dries, it goes that peel way, and you can peel it off, but you're peeling it off for ages. Okay, and we've got that there. Then I've got this wee stamp. I don't know if you can see it here, it says, You are me amazing. Um, this was actually, it came in a stamp set from Aliexpress, I don't know if you're able to see it. It's this wee one here that had all the mermaids and things in it, I got that a while back. And I will put a disclaimer in the description box guys, since I'm using an Aliexpress stamp. Um, okay, so I'm just going to use the Versafine on its black. Put that in the centre. You are mere amazing. Like that. Okay. okay. I'm going to have that there. Like that. And then, just to finish it off, I've got these absolutely beautiful. Now, it was Michelle Stratford that first introduced me to these. And you can get them on AliExpress as well. They're absolutely stunning. They're wee really acrylic shells are like they've got the AB the Aurora Borealis on them I love them so I'm going to take two of the wee pink ones now you, I usually would put these on with hot glue but if you put enough wet glue on them they do stick you just got to let them dry so put one in that corner and one in this corner they're beautiful they're so nice like that take off the excess glue and that glue dries clear so it's fine and that is oh no 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 it's not it's not it's not i was going to say that is a finished card wait a minute i want to show you something quickly so i've got this two in one this is a six two two in one glue pen and it comes out blue and all i'm doing is filling in it's just like coloring in basically with a glue pen in the wee die cut bits that look like mermaid scales and I'm going to go all the way down. Okay, so I've filled it all in with the glue. And if you don't have that, you can just put a wee dot of your wet glue in every wee one, every wee space. Then I have some glitter. Here, this is just some pink glitter. I'm going to put a sheet underneath and sprinkle this. Just tap it on all over the glue area. It doesn't matter if you're putting on too much because it's all going to go back in the bottle anyway. Okay, like that. And then what I'm going to do is just take my finger and lightly rub it over just to make sure that it's sticking where I want it to. Tip it up. Give it a wee bang. Oops, I've missed a bit. In fact, I think I've missed that with the glue pen. So... Put it on there. Now, this is the dodgy bit. I'll just crease the edge. And there we go. 